Hey, what's going on, y'all? So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Kit Bash's 3D Neo San Francisco. And I usually like to buy these early on whenever they're released because it's usually like $99, I think half off, if I remember correctly. So I bought this right now, which looks pretty nice for $99. It's a freaking amazing deal. Real quick, whenever you are purchasing this, go ahead. For me, I'm using Unreal. So go to Native. And then 4K Asset, well, for me, 4K Asset. And then go ahead and make sure you have both files and textures. If you're using Chrome, you're going to get a pop-up saying, hey, are you going to allow Google Chrome to download multiple files? Go ahead and say yes, because if not, you're only going to get one zip file folder, which is going to be the files. So ultimately, you're going to want two zip files, one Unreal Native and one Unreal.native. So in this one, you're going to have the materials and textures. And in the second one, you're going to have the actors and geometries. What you just need to do is combine both of those into one folder. And then after that, just copy and paste this folder into your project, open your project, and it should be good to go. So I placed a couple of these actors already on the scene. Now I'm saying actors because they're blueprints pretty much. They're like pre-populated, which is really nice because you just pretty much drag and drop them. But if you want to see the static meshes, you can look at the geometries and you can kind of see the breakdown. But these blueprints look pretty amazing to me. And as you can see here, we have four folders, which is what you want. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and walk around here so you can kind of see what's going on. Uh, I just plays all these randomly at all. But I just wanted you to see the scale of this thing. So let's go ahead and press F11 and just walk around so you can see it. And again, for $99, and no, I'm not affiliated with Kitbash, this is pretty good because you're going to actually use these in like virtual production, LED walls, and also obviously short films, like wide shots and, you know, mid shots and close-ups. But yeah, this looks pretty darn cool. Now, I did skip their Midwest pack because I don't really have any story for that right now, but I am buying anything that looks modern. I pretty much purchased all their cyberpunk kits, and I think I have another Neo City or something like that. But yeah, whenever they do go on sale, I usually check it out. But these buildings look really freaking cool. And they're pretty big too. They're really good for like flying city if you're like flying if you have like a character that flies it's pretty good for the background for that and it's supposed to mimic san francisco i guess there's a block there yeah there's a blocking volume there but it's okay i just remove that later that's pretty big man for 99 bucks, you're actually getting a lot of buildings. This is massive. And I don't even think this is all the pre uh, pre populated or blueprint buildings as well. There's only a couple of them. This looks cool. So I can't go there. I'll figure that out later. Probably just blocking volume. This is awesome, man. I feel like something's wrong with this one right here. I don't know. I don't know if it's supposed to look like that. But maybe the material was not correct. But I'll go ahead and press escape. So we can take a look at this a little bit closer. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. For like wide shots and things like that. For like an establishing shot, this is pretty good. And where's that? This thing right here? Yeah, I'm. Well, maybe it is supposed to be like that. It's weird. Okay. I don't know how it would grow. But hey, whatever, man. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, this is definitely cool. This is definitely a nice addition to my asset packs. But yeah, that's pretty much it, y'all. This is the San Francisco asset pack by Kitbash 3D, which I think is still on sale right now for like $99. You get all of these and more.